Hello, Ben here. I'm a Python developer at Mira Geoscience. I'd like to share with you today uh, some work that's being built into the 4.5 release of Geoscience Analyst. So if you're a pro geophysics or pro geology user, you'll find in the geology tab now an option for GemPy implicit modeling. As the name suggests, this is an interface to Python's open source uh, implicit modeler, GemPy which is a package that takes structural observations and um, through co-kriging will give you a 3D model uh, that best represents those observations. So if we uh, open up the dialog, you'll find uh, essentially options to select a points object and associated data that represent the structural uh, measurements that one might make in the field like geologic contacts and foliations, orientations, uh, faults, and so on. Um, I've created a small example that um, pulls some data out of the the uh, Flin Flon project we have uh, here. And if we take a look at the points I've picked, I'm focusing in on the mill rock unit and the hidden formation. And then I've got a fault that cross cuts it. <clears throat> okay, so um, to start, we just pick our points object. And then the data channels that we need that I've already filled in are a reference data that gives the um, history or the chronology of the events. So the um, the later events are on the bottom and the, the newer events are on the top, fault cross-cutting everything, so it um, belongs at the top here. <clears throat> Oops, so we can select that as uh, the events. And then we also need to tell it orientations, strike and dip observations. So I've got a strike and dip group here um, that collects these two channels. Um, and I've, you know, I've marked a handful of orientations that come from the, some structural surface structure, um, measurements, as well as I put on a couple of, um, drill hole, um, contact points and, uh, orientations. Okay, um, there are two types of orientations, ones that belong to an existing contact point. So a contact can have an orientation, but for things like foliations, we need to allow non-contact orientations. So the way to tell GemPy that a, this pick is not part of a geologic contact is through this is contact channel. So this one here is contact is set to false unlike most of these other ones that live in the in the contacts same story with faults right so to distinguish between a, a geologic unit and a fault which gempi treats differently we need to give this is fault channel and lastly gempi will interpolate to whatever mesh you provide it whether that's an octree or a block model uh, i've chosen a block model here and i'm going to slice it at the topography so we're going to fill air cells above this surface. Give it a name, GeoModel, and create the group. OK, so I can run this locally. And we'll see a bit of feedback on the process. It gives us a structural stack, which is like a summary of all the points you've provided to GemPy, as well as some feedback on um the solution and that's now finished so we can load results and have a look at the solution here called geomodel we'll do a view only and let's turn off these surfaces to start and now because we've got the geology at the surface to compare to we'll slide this up close to the surface and you can see our solution sort of obeys uh, the pixel made along the contacts there. 
and is able to reproduce this little slice of the hidden that um, is offset by that fault, which is kind of cool. OK, uh, so that's it for my demo. If you have any questions about that, feel free and reach out. Um, there's also online documentation. If you need some help getting started, that's a, a nice resource. Thanks for watching.